Hey gamers, Melko6925 here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. In this video, we are going to be opening a giant chest, and I am just going to quickly showcase a new attack from a brand new deck, which includes the Pekka. Now, before we do that, guys, just want to let you know, the Blood Crows are recruiting again. So if you want to join the Blood Crows, what you have to do first is head over to the Blood Hawks, put a request in there that you want to join, Obviously, the Blood Hawks are our feeder clan. Stay with the Blood Hawks until a position comes available within the Blood Crows and then apply to join us. Now, I pop into that my account on that uh, clan every day, so you can always chat with me as well. If you have any suggestions for videos, etc., you can post them as well. Remember, guys, that is the Blood Hawks. So, guys, let's start by opening this giant chest. It's going to cost me three gems to open, but let's be honest, I can't wait, so I'm going to open that. Let's just wait for the signal to come back first, which will take a few seconds. Okay, so let's have a look what we have. We have 1,779 gold, always comes in handy. 103 zap spells, and I am starting to use the zap quite frequently. 106 skeletons, unfortunately that's a card I never use. And we have 23 of the Bomb Tower. A fantastic card on defense. Not a card I use very often, but a card I am starting to use a lot more. So guys, the deck we're going to be using is going to consist of the Elixir Collector, the Spear Goblins, the Arrows, the Goblins, the Archers, the Pekka, the lovely Valkyrie, and Barbarians. So this is going to be a live attack. Actually, I'll tell you now, it was a live attack when I actually did the recording not when I actually did the audio. So as always, wish your opponent good luck. At this point, I'm still level 8, guys. I'm about to become level 9, but that is only due to my high level of donations. So they put down that Elixir Collector in the back. I am going to drop down my Pekka. Ooh, that's a lot of Elixir wasted by our opponent there. But he has done some damage, so I'm going to stick the goblins behind to push that Pekka forward. Can I just say, look at that, it's the Pekka push. They're going to push him, speed him up. Now, while that guy's going down that side, I'm going to be tricky and go down the opposite side. He brought that attack to a halt, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to arrow down the minion horde, and we're going to do some damage to that tower. Now, we have taken a nice lead getting their tower down to 1418 against ours 1943 and as you can see this guy uses the dreaded mortar unfortunately I didn't get that elixir collector down in time to distract it but I have got those archers down to try and take down that mortar as quickly as possible only able to get two shots off on our tower so as you can see we are just ahead now they do have that second pump down which is going to give them a massive elixir boost. I'm going to drop my Pekka up front instead of at the back and I'm going to drop down my Valkyrie to give him some protection as well from any horde troops that they decide to drop. I am going to get my arrows ready, no, just in case, maybe not. Okay, down goes that tower in quick effect. I'm going to drop down those spear goblins, I'm going to take down that cannon, hopefully we're going to take down that Inferno Tower and we're going to move straight on to the tower itself. That tower is going to cripple. Do they have anything to counter this or have they given up already? It looks like guys that they have given up for an easy three star victory with a brand spanking new deck. Remember guys that's the Elixir Collector, the Spear Goblins, the Arrows, the Goblins, the Archers, the Pekka and Valkyrie and Barbarians. So guys that's it from me. If you like what you see comment below let me know. If you've not subscribed, do me a big favour and hit that subscribe button. While we're doing, let's just have a look to see how this panned out with regards to the elixir. So, at this point, I've got the elixir advantage going down that side, and then I'm going to have to push down the far side again. Now, we're about levels for devils when it comes to elixir, so not too bad at this point. I just want to see at what point this guy gives in. It's got to be right near the end. And as you can see, he didn't use his elixir there. He didn't know what to do, so he dropped down those there. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of advantage, and then he just gave up at the end, yeah. So he did give up. Oh, well. So, guys, that's it from me. If you like what you see, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you gamers next time. Take care.